My head was spinning. There was no way on God's green earth my low eye was going straight. And how had I ended up with this smoldering blonde asleep on my couch? The story needs to be rewound to the beginning, to where all good detective stories start. The smoke-filled bar, where I talk the tub with the barman, and meet the dame that will inevitably do me wrong. Susie breezed in like water off a duck's back. She looked across the bar, took a nose full of cigar smoke, and tried to tease herself discreetly into a booth by the door. This broad couldn't be discreet if her pretty little life depended on it. She stood out like Oliver Reed in a paddling pool. She was like something from a 15-year-old Tex Avery's wet dream. I ain't talking Betty Boo here. From top to toe, this camp is a Ford Mustang, a chicken vindaloo, and a dirty weekend all rolled into one. She had the legs of Beethoven's piano and a complexion of an August midnight in Stockholm. She signaled to the waiter and ordered a cocktail. I ain't talking your run-of-the-mill Manhattan. This cocktail was big. And when I say big, I'm talking Tyrannosaurus big. She took a sip and stared deep into my eyes. Her gaze penetrated like a needle to a clucking junkie's artery. As she sized me up, a wave of ecstasy washed over my body like the shores of Daytona Beach. I was 14 years old again, staring down at my daddy's Playboy mags, cock in hand and three sheets to the wind. I didn't even need to introduce myself. She already knew my name. Not only that, but she knew my shoe size, where I got my coffee in the morning, and how much loose change was down the back of my couch. This broad knew too much. Well, I was back on the streets, and I knew it'd do anything to get to the one man that had put him behind bars for all those years. She said her name was Susie LePan, but this weren't no bunny business, I can tell you. She said she needed a place to stay, somewhere she could lay low for a while. I wasn't going to question that, but I knew that there were still a thousand unanswered questions that all too soon I'd need to know the answer to. Being a private eye ain't always easy. But it does have its perks. I've been a private eye for over half my life now. I've seen my fair share of con artists, mobsters, doe-eyed dames, and heartbroken husbands. Something was different about Susie, though. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. The next morning, I was greeted at my office by a strangely dressed man with mismatched eyes. He told me a story that changed everything I thought I knew. It was a lot to take in, and I could tell you, it was less than groovy.